Hey family, welcome back. What does the music you like sound like? In this episode of Finding Your Sound, we're going to work on deepening the understanding of your musical preferences and use that to focus your practice routine. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You've been playing for a while and you're starting to get more serious about your instrument. You decide to sit down and develop a practice routine to really get your scales under control. You might start with something like practicing the major scale in two octaves across all keys. Then, after a few weeks, you move on to the modes of the major scale in all keys. You start off each day with the Ionian mode, the first mode of the major scale, and then the Dorian, and so on and so forth. After several months, if you were able to hang in that long, you find yourself to be pretty fluid running the modes of the major scales in the cycle of fourths and none of it seems to transfer to the music you're playing beyond generally improved dexterity on the instrument. So another year goes by and once again you're ready to get serious about your playing. So this time you're following a fairly difficult video that starts with patterns on the major scale. You're doing thirds and sixths, some note groupings. Some of them sound cool, but overall it makes your head hurt and still doesn't seem to really relate to the music you listen to. Does this ring a bell for any of you? Yeah, been there, done that, got the t-shirt, outgrew it and ordered another one. All right, so what's my beef with the major scale? Really, nothing. It's helpful to have a basic understanding of theory and how scale degrees work, no matter what type of music, but consider how much time you're dedicating to C major. Most of us have limited time to practice the music we love. If you wanna to learn to cook a great chicken dish and every night you made steak for dinner, sure, You'd get better at cooking in general, but it's nowhere near as efficient as learning a few great chicken recipes. The problem with always starting with the major scale is that this approach to practicing is really backwards. It looks at music as if it's a pyramid with a fundamental understanding of rhythm and music theory at the bottom, translating it to your instrument through technique in the middle, and then executing the songs that you like at the top. I actually don't even have that much of a problem with that hierarchy. What I do have a problem with is the idea that this is how you should approach practice. Instead, think of music as a set of concentric circles with the music you like at the center. Start off with the songs, licks, riffs, the actual music you love to listen to. Then, as you get deeper into that music, you start to learn the commonalities. And this is how the circles expand and connect to each other. The fundamental difference is that you're using the music you love the sound of you're using your own ears to determine what you should be practicing. As your tastes expand, you'll start to form a network of related music nodes. Let's look at an example using Roots of Coincidence by Pat Metheny. I noted this track was one of my key influences in the previous Finding Your Sound video. Let's take just the beginning of the melody. The first chords are vamping between C minor and E flat major, which is the relative major of C minor. The melody in C minor is resting on the D, which is the ninth of the C minor chord, and the seventh of the E flat major chord. The next resting point is the G, which is the fifth of the C minor and the third of the E flat major. There are a number of exercises we could build off of this. You can take this around the circle of fourths. You could also take the original C minor to E flat minor vamp and experiment with the melody. Here, instead of centering around the D or the ninth of C, I'm building the same type of melodic fragment around F or the ninth of the E flat chord. And I'm still not saying that scale and arpeggio practice is verboten. You know, far from it. Just let the music dictate what you're practicing. On this track, I'm really interested in the difference in sound between C Aeolian and C harmonic minor scales. You could also encounter technical challenges like shifting or string skipping. Practice what sounds interesting to your ears and is currently difficult to execute. I guess that really sums up the whole video. Start with what sounds interesting to you and is difficult to play, and then branch out from there. 
I hope you found this video valuable. Smash like and subscribe below for more of the series and other videos. In the next segment in the series, we'll go in depth on learning songs. All right, thanks for watching.